diversity statement, I think what's key for that, it's optional, um, certainly personal states are required, but with a diversity statement, you don't have to write one. So I definitely have some students who struggle with this, should they, shouldn't they? And you know, occasionally a student will say, well, you know, I have a very typical background for law school and you know, I'm not first generation, I'm not a, an underrepresented minority, um, but there are ways to really highlight an experience that isn't shown in the rest of your application. The way that I really tell my students to approach it is, you know, is there something that you can tell that isn't typical of the applicant pool? So for example, you know, if I saw a student that grew up on a farm, that's actually pretty unique these days. You know, that doesn't happen very often. And certainly if they're applying to a place like NYU, uh, that was quite rare. Um, so certainly I've had students write about something like that. Or if they had a really unique hobby, um, I have a colleague at my current company uh, who's at Yale Law, and she said that one of her classmates is really known for foraging in the forest for truffles. So, you know, that was sort of highlighting his love of food. So, you know, there are ways to really highlight a really interesting part of your background. But it's not absolutely necessary. I've had clients really struggle with this and say, do I need to write one? And we've bounced ideas off of each other. And at the end of the day, they didn't feel there was you know, something that they really wanted to highlight in that diversity statement. 